All right, guys, welcome back to round four of coverage. Kurt and I are jo joined by Mr. Wolf here in the booth for hey, our final everybody. round. Otherwise known as Saruman now. No. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, hi, everybody. Let me just get everything pulled up here. All right. We've got a regular old party up here Who in the, is the uh, conductor? streaming booth now. Uh, that is Matt. Hi, Matt. Yeah, he, you should go back and watch, like, the Twitch chat was, he, pff, yeah. He Wait, which, which Matt? Uh, Moore. Oh, Matt Moore, okay. Hello, Matt Moore. All right, so Brady is starting on force. Looks yep. like he just had to pass it back. Power turn right there. Drop the basic force, pass turn, and still fear into the heart of your enemy. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> uh, so I played both of these gentlemen tonight. Oh, you played Chris, too? Yeah. <laughs> uh, both decks are pretty fun uh brady's got oh so that's the that's that, the dragons of tarkir obzan guy yeah, yeah he was the uh, game day promo what yeah. avatar of the resolute right yeah resolute yeah he uh his power and toughness are equal to the number of creatures with plus one plus one counters on him right I that you control so but i think he also can come in with one i think he oh, yeah Okay, that's We're what he does. Keyboard issues. Yeah, this, this keyboard is... I've got the Facebook chat up on my phone, so I will not be able to look that I up. I can look it up. I've got it, It's working now. Oh, we got it. All right, Avatar the Resolute is a green-green for a 2-2. Two, two. Oh, enters with a plus one, plus one or counter a three, two. each. Creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter. Okay, right. and he has reach and trample. Yeah. All right, so he does things. He's also just a casual 3-2 three, two for two. I like it. Pretty value. Yep. Yes, Matt, I was done groved. Done grove. <laughs> You're done, Grove. Uh, so, Gorski's There is a temple garden there. Shocking it in. Gonna drop. Voice of Resurgence. Voice of Resurgence. So, he plays... In an Chris, Absin deck. So, it, it's the Absin mid-range deck, but he plays some of the more toolboxy creatures from, like, the company decks, including Internal Witness... Voice of Resurgence. Yeah. I don't think he plays Tarmogoyf, so he's playing those kinds of creatures in mm -hmm. that slot. But he still plays, in, in instead of the Planeswalkers, and, but he still plays, like, all the removal and all the hand disruption. It's, all the paths and the fatal pushes. the Maelstrom Pulse. And, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. But instead of, like, Goyfs and Planeswalkers, he has more value creatures. Ah. He still has Siege Rhino. I think he plays Lingering Souls. He does. Well, I like Brady switching it up with a full art Zendikar. I don't his, like uh, it. his uh inconsistent lands are sure to drive a few of his opponents here absolutely nuts. Is that <laughs> Leatherback Baleth? That is a green, That's green, what? green for a four five. Four five? Yeah. yeah. Not I played, as good as a Wooly Dog Dragon. I used to <laughs> my I used to play a deck that was like Garrick's companion in that guy. So really, all Brady needs is a uh, a shrine to Nix, a Nikthos. Yeah, oh, yeah. And, uh, he's gonna make all the manas. All right, on Nimrod, he does play. Does he Walkers. have shrine to Nikthos in that deck? I don't know if he does or not. All right, so here's Liliana Edict. Old. Probably gonna lose the Avatar. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you want to keep the four or five. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Leather back. We're gonna do. I love these Brew Knights. <laughs> Tree folk and Leatherback Bailoth. Oh yeah, let's it's do it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 With Opt. And Opt was actually really great tonight. Yeah. Guys, uh, There's Rancor for the turn. I'm going to probably pick some up for my Storm deck at some point. R Rancor is plus 2 plus 0 oh, and Trample? Yes. Oh, that's going to be great here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. Why not turn your 4 5 for 3 into a uh, 6, six five, 5 for, for trample. trample for 4? Yeah. <laughs> Seems good. I don't think the uh, the voice elemental token is going to be too too scary nope. then. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Oh, man. I can think of a number of people here that would just be losing their minds over Brady's lands right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really care that his lands are mismatched. It doesn't I bother just, me. I just upset that he's using full arts. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know. We've talked about your distaste of full arts before. I do like the new ones for... for unstable. Un unstable. Yeah, oh, those yeah, are very those nice. Those are very pretty. Those but. are pretty. But I just don't like the... Yeah, come to think of it, I've never seen you play... Full Art Lands. Yeah. Typically old lands. The Zendikar one... I do like the old one. The Alpha Lands are really nice. The, uh... What was I playing tonight? The, uh... Ice Age Snow-Covered Lands all look really nice. Those are really nice ones. 
Oh man. I messed it up. Need you to fix it. He's back. That's oh. fine because we've actually got somebody else in the booth. Yeah. All right. Yay! So, so Brady's swinging in there for uh, oh six. Six. Probably going at Liliana, I imagine. You don't really want to let her stick around unless he's just going. No, so like here, I think it's okay to just like swing face here, Uh, just for the simple fact that like Lily's only at one. True. Brady probably has a bunch of forest. He's like, uh, it's got trample. You take four. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So go to the face. I think that was the uh, the correct call there. Yeah. Uh, Brady probably has just a bunch of now. This next one will. Probably go at Liliana. Yeah. Uh, especially if there's like a lingering souls coming out of Chris here. <laughs> oh, pardon me. I had to sneeze there. Uh, so it actually looks like Brady's got like it look like Can't a boon satyr. I think he's got a boon satyr. He might flash that in at the end of the turn like he did to yeah. you that one time. Yeah. Off camera. Yeah, but. off camera. But so he's trying to decide. I think he's going to discard a boon satyr though. All right, so, oh, vines. oh vines. That's fine too. And Chris chucking a lingering souls in the graveyard, and then gonna flash that back. Lingering souls, man, what a card! Yeah, it's, it's pretty strong. Cards. All right, so coming now, in for three, three, gonna take Brady to seventeen. Now, Gorski is holding up path. Uh, he does have paths in his deck, but yeah, uh, he, looks like he flashed one. Does so. he have fatal pushes too? Uh, I don't know if he does or not. Because those those can also I hit the leather bag bailout as large uh, as it well, is. Well, it has to lose. He has to have a permanent leave. Right. He has to trigger revolt for yeah. it. But yep, there's that. There's that satyr flashing in there. Right. So now, Gorski has to decide if he wants to path. Yeah. Now, mm-hmm. so he's gonna path that. Yep. That's fine. Because then he's gonna get the rancor back. Yeah, Brady's gonna get the rancor back. Although having a 6-2 is not quite as good as having a 6-5. Still right. pretty good. But what's going to happen, like, he's going to hit for 6, and then he's e- Chris is either going to lose both of his guys to kill it, uh, yeah. and then he's going to go down to 7. I mean, there's... And who knows what else Brady has in his hand now, besides, cause, besides just that Rancor now. but Right. I think Chris is just on a really bad clock, like... The Stompy deck, I mean, it can take people down pretty quick. He's got a lot of punk. Yeah, he, he of... killed me on, like, turn four. Yeah. Uh, the next turn I had the the win for myself with combo, but... Uh, yeah, you were stuck on lands that one game. When yeah. You had the double anger of the gods, that would have been super handy. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. There's an Elvish there's, Mystic. That blocks the three Yeah, because he's got, what, Weirwood Geist? Is that the one? No, Strangle Root Geist. Strangle Root Geist, yeah, there you go. Yeah, here comes a rank on the Boon Sater. Yep, that's a big, that's a big boy. I think he's trying to. He may have a Stranger Root Geist in his hand, yeah. and that's probably what he's trying to decide if he wants to play now. Uh, he definitely get Lily off. The as board. of right now, he could attack Lily and take her to one if Chris blocked with his whole board. Oh, he can't. No, uh, no. So if he blocks with, if he blocks Boon Sater, Boon Sater has trample. So I mean. Yeah, I didn't realize that his uh, voice token was tapped out there. Yeah. I was not paying. So he's just going to swing six out yep. of Lily. That's fine. Chris says, go ahead and take her. Yep. All right, so Elvis Mystic's probably on blocking duty. There may be another Boon Seder in his hand. And there's another path to exile. That would be a pretty sweet play. Well, two paths. That's Another Lingering Souls as there's well. There's shambling vents. Got to come in tapped. Yeah, so I was having a lot of trouble in game one against Chris when it came to... Now, is that the second time that he's flashed that back? Yeah, okay. Okay, there you go. Yeah. He had another one in hand. Yeah, that's... I think he just realized that, like, oh, wait, I did already flash that back. Yeah. So, Man, and the tokens that, that keep now that's a Now, that's a 5-5. Five five. Yep. Uh, Brady has to basically just chump here. So yep. He's going to take at least two from Flyers. Uh, I don't think you take a, f- a five damage hit here. Oh, oh he's going to take gonna seven. Take seven and go to yeah. ten. Now, Brady may have. Oh, no, I don't know what that last card uh, is. See if he if he was going to flash into the Boon Seder and then play. Oh, is that another Vines of Asswood in his hand? Oh, and then that, I don't know what he drew on top of that. But I think the Vines is what he just drew. 
I don't know what that other nah, card is. I have a hard time seeing what's in his hand okay. here. So, we'll find out in a second. So, two mana. Yep. There's... Strangler Okay, guys. there's Strangler Root, guys. Okay. 2-1 with Haste and Undying. Yes. It's a pretty fun card. Yeah. All right, so in comes Boon Sater for six. Now he's going to double block. Here's where he's going to play the Vines. Oh, no. Aspect of the Hydra. Oh, interesting. That gives so it, that'd it, gives be it plus, plus three plus three, right? Well, no, it gives plus plus equals oh, to devotion. the devotion. Oh, wow. So that's he has a lot. One, three, two, three, four, four five, five, six. So it's going to give it plus six plus six. Wow. And I think that's Is le that lethal? No. It was it put him to like one? Yep. <laughs> yeah, so that's yeah. going to go down to a three three. Yep. Ten from. The Seder and two from the guys. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so now he has to leave basically everything back. To block. Yeah. Man, who knew that just playing aggressively costed green creatures and then making them gigantic and giving them trample would be so effective? <laughs> yeah, who would have thought? <laughs> who would have thunk? <laughs> All right, so now he has... Chris has got to play his paths. He right. has to. Well... Yeah, there's one. So he's going to play the path here, right? The Rancor is going to go back to his hand. He has another path in hand, right? Right. So what's going to happen, well, what I thought was going to happen was that he was just going to wait until he goes to equip, so he plays it on nope, I guess the Strangle Root, like, and then Pat, like, because then he would have lost the Rancor. Right. Well, maybe Chris wasn't sure about that interaction. That might, that might That's one of those things that maybe not everybody's keen on, but right. maybe he just wanted to get rid of it right now. Right, so he's avoid just, any funny stuff. He's just gonna attack for two. He could also be assuming that uh, Brady might draw into like a blossoming defense or something, or another vines of acid because he's already seen the vines of acid because it got discarded. Yeah, and uh, that would you know throw off a path there. What was that? I can't tell. So no, one of his cards is Rancor. I know I was when I was playing. I was trying to uh, make sure you guys saw what I had in hand at times. Yeah, sometimes you catch a glimpse. It's not too bad, but now he's in a he's in a dangerous spot here. He needs to have drawn something, but okay. let's see. Here comes the rancor. Rancor on the elvish mystic. Pass the turn. And pass the turn. Oh, he could have a boon Seder and it bestow it. Yeah, he's going to have to block something, though. He's definitely going to have to block the voice token or else he dies. So Right, because he has lethal. And then Chris also has, you know, creatures back to block. Shambling vents and now a... Well, Stirring Wild World. World. Card. Stirring Wild <laughs> yeah. Not the greatest of cards. Uh, probably one of the weaker besides Lava Claw Reaches. Of yeah, the... it's an okay blocker if <laughs> right. to block flying I think creatures. It's a three four. It's a three four with reach. Yeah. yeah. So it only costs three to activate, which isn't too bad. It's no celestial colonnade. Yeah. But uh, still pretty good. Oh, he's going in with he's going everything. Swinging the team. There you go. I don't think Brady has a way out of this. Well, so it's seven. Seven if he block. He, so he has to block the token and go to well, one, basically. He, yeah. And Brady's going to scoop it. Just going to scoop it up? All right. All right. So we're not going to get to see what that last card is. Um, however, that was a pretty interesting game. Yeah. Uh, they pretty, pretty evenly matched for a while there. I mean, Chris hang, hung in at one, so. Yeah. Very interesting. Uh, not quite the matches I was expecting to see today. I'm sure uh, the people that didn't brew tonight are probably in more top tables. Yeah. Um, Wyatt, who we saw uh, beat Tyler on stream here, is playing what I like to call Bad Shadow. Oh, is he playing Because it's the original. Oh, he's playing Jun. Jun with, like, okay. no Colgan's commands or anything. But he's he was... 3-0 and oh going into round 4. So it just goes to show you that even Bad Shadow is still pretty good Shadow. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, um, Curtis is... On regular Death Shadow? Curtis he Shadow? was 2-1 and one going into round 4. Okay. He is on Infect, I believe. Oh, that's right. He is on Infect. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, and I'm not 
too sure about anybody else. I didn't I didn't get a good look at the standings before I popped back up here into the booth. Okay. So I didn't really pay much attention to him. Uh, I was just kind of more interested with how I was doing and yeah. thinking about my plays throughout the uh, the evening, except for that last round. Uh, I think I played it correctly outside of maybe missequencing my lands to where I probably could have played the, the Sahelia turn sooner to mm. go off, but... Maybe. But that's neither here nor there. I had, I had yeah. a rough night. Uh, deck performed decently well. Uh, didn't perform perfectly. That maybe have just been draws. Right. I think that deck has some potential, though. That deck is super sweet. I'm a big fan of your deck. Thanks. Uh, that's it. There's, there's some <laughs> things that like I, I want to... I need to tweak or fix uh, maybe a little bit more counter magic in the main besides just the remands and the cryptics that I'm playing. Yeah. I have some spell snares too. Um, maybe I should be playing spell pierces or something. I don't know. That's the fun of brewing your own deck. I'm not much of a brewer myself, so I don't I don't I don't come up with those good interactions. I mean it's a deck that I've been working on at various different times. Uh, last night I when I chose to put both combos into the deck, the Blight Steel and the Liquid Metal Coding combo. Yeah, uh, I just kind of wanted to do it just to have fun with it. Uh, I probably could have just played Blue Moon and been fine, but yeah, I didn't want to play Blue Moon. Like, so what do you think about? So you, one of your other big decks that you're known for is their your Red White Prison Prison deck. What do you think about the new Planeswalker Legendary rule now? That's great with that deck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so with Gideon of the Trials and Gideon Duro being able to be in play at the same time it's it's game over for a lot of decks they can't deal with both no uh before like when i had to sacrifice getting into the trials to play getting jura like that was really tough uh the deck it also gets a huge benefit from from that rule because of being able to have both in play yeah getting of the trials plus one being able to be like prevent damage from that guy yep and then so if I have a bridge and say they have like a noble high arc or something, mm -hmm. you know they have to, act, and that's the only zero power creature they have. I can prevent damage from it, and it has right. to attack. Yeah, you know, and then Gideon can be like the other Gideon the next turn can kill it. Yep. So it's kind of cool. Uh, just makes makes it a little bit harder. Yeah, I I I wonder. I've not been keeping up with. Uh, uh, the magic website where they do articles and things like that where a lot of times they'll talk about specific decisions they make regarding rules changes or bans. I don't know if they've spoken about their motive behind making the They did, Walker but change. I didn't I don't remember reading it. Like I read it really quickly and I'm like, okay, that makes sense and then that was Right. It seems when they first announced the rule to me, the first thing I thought of is, Oh man, this is gonna be very abusable. It for a lot be. of different reasons, and I think that, I mean, think aside from a few like Tribal Gideon decks that have started floating around like online, um, that are doing like okay-ish, uh, I think we'll see. Hopefully, I, I would like to see people to continue to experiment with yeah. Planeswalker-based decks, like in modern. Well, it also gives us a chance to have a few others. Yeah. Things. All right, so we got. Elvish Mystic. Elvish Mystic on turn one. It's, it's his, and, one of his best starts. Yeah. Got to get that ramp in now, there. Maybe a Smuggler's Copter coming down turn two. Oh, interesting. Uh, which is Smuggler's Copter creeping its way into modern after its controversial ban in standard. Rightful ban. It's standard. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. During the uh, the banning winter, as I'm sure yeah. it'll be called someday. Three mana. <laughs> That's a bow of Nylia. Oh, interesting. Okay, so bow of Nylia. Well, it gives the equipped creature death touch. No, it's not. Right? It's e it or is that equipped. Nylia herself? Oh no, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a attacking creature death touch. Mm. Uh, there goes an abrupt decay on the bow. Oh, there um, you go. It can put one one counters on stuff. I think it gains you life. It's kind of like a Jitte in a way. Like it also puts one one counter. Like yeah. So. Uh, that's a there is experiment, experiment one. one. Did they do experiments two or three or four? No, they should have. That would have been hilarious. Just old experiment one. So he's a human ooze. Human ooze that gains one one counters. He's got evolve. He's got evolve. Uh, and then you can remove two plus one plus one counters from him. 
to, to regenerate, regenerate him. Yeah. Uh, so Gorski is cracking a land. He looks like he's going to take three here. I'm going to get that yeah, overgrown okay. tomb out of there. So, fix up his mana. I mean, I guess he technically had all three colors. So the only thing I was one. upset about that I didn't play, and I, I purposely didn't play it this evening, was uh, Blood Moons. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, we were talking about that before. Like, I normally do. Uh, a lot of it was just because I didn't like my mana. Like, every time I've... All the other times I've played Sahili, that Sahili ride deck, uh, it was because of... I didn't like the the mana that what happens to it after oh yeah sh shutting after down Blood your, Moon. Uh, not enough basic islands uh, I mean no there really isn't it's just because of what you need to to play the deck like, yeah it needs a lot of dual lands yeah well you've got cryptics in there which is a pretty heavy investment into blue but you also you still need to maintain your your right. red and so. I don't play a lot of of those but so there's the Bailon. Is there a Sigarda in Chris's hand? I uh, thought I caught a glimpse of that a second possibly. ago. It's a 5-5. Five five, so. What is that that Brady just played? That is, that's the Bailon. Oh, that's, that's the Bailon. Oh, yeah. man. All right. Experiment 1 going to grow into a... That's a 2-2. Two 2-2? Two. Two two? Yeah. Yep. So it only gets one evolved trigger. Yeah. And it just has to be the toughness or the strength bigger than... Right. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunities well, for it to continue. I think Brady's leaving up the Elvis Mystic. Uh, he probably has a vines. Vines. So. All right, so All attack right. for two. Going to go in for two. Yep. No, no blocks. Obviously. obviously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like probably a flashback of souls here. Yep. I'm telling you, I think I saw Sigurd in Chris's hand. Interesting card, if it is. It's an interesting cyborg card here. Like... That's for sure. All right. He's going to draw. Now there's, there's He's a got, split card there. Yeah, I can't quite tell what it is. I am not sure what that card is either. Were there mono green split cards? Uh, or were they all? I thought all the green split I cards don't know. had Let's, uh, were multicolor. Guess we'll find out for you in a second here. There was what? Destined to lead was a green black one. Ready to fight is a green white one. Uh, well, I'm going to look like Amonkhet split cards. Yeah, maybe. probably. All right, so he's playing it, but we have no idea what oh, that is. There it is. There's one. There it is. What is this? I think it's probably what he has. It looks like it's the only mono green one, but I can't. Yeah. Can't see what it does. Mouth to feed. Okay, so it creates a three three beast. Ah. Oh no, that's a green black one. So he's playing. Oh, is that destined to lead? It's gotta be destined to lead. I don't know. Let's look. Destined to lead was like the green one is that a creature, basically gets the uh, the old. Uh, like lure type thing where all creatures have to block it. But why is he playing it? Oh, there he's pathing in response to the. But that's a it's a black oh, card. Oh no, no, yeah, we're looking at it the wrong way. All right, well, I don't know what that card is. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, may have to do a little bit extra looking here. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna aspect of the hydra there. Yep. I don't. What is that car? We're going to find out. It just may take me just a little bit. By the time we find out, this game's going to be over, I bet. Uh, this is some spicy brews when we can't even figure out what one of the cards are. What? That's mouth to feed. There was another one higher up. Nope, that's no, Destin. No, no. That one? Nope. No. It's green black. That's is what we're yeah. looking for. Looking for another one. All right. So it may be in our devastation. Did they do split cards in our devastation? Yeah, I think so. Uh -huh. We'll find out. I'm really upset that I don't know what this card is. He's throwing us for a loop here. 
That's a green. No, well, that's. Oh, there it oh, is. There it is. Driven to end of turn. It's driven. Till end of turn, creatures you control gain trample. Whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Oh, interesting. So, driven to despair, but. Okay, doesn't... so we missed some damage here. Yep. Uh, Chris at nine. nine. Brady's, Brady's at, at 14. 14. Just took a little hit from some spirits there. Yep. Okay. It looks like he doesn't even intend on ever casting the black half of that. Well, the green half is still pretty good in the deck like this. All right, so, so. here comes an abrupt decay. Oh, fatal Ooh, push. fatal push. Fatal push. Two there. fatal pushes. Now, Brady does have a vines. Yeah. He can... Now, so what I would do... Probably want to save experiment oh. one, yeah. Well, okay, so I think that he played his... He used his mana incorrectly, right? Who? Chris? Brady. Oh, Brady? He should have used the, the Elvish Mystic that was going to die. Yeah. As the... To cast the vines. Cast the vines. Yeah. Now, Chris has gone through a lot of paths. That's yeah. That's his third I mean, one. It could be inconsequential because Brady might not have anything else to play. But that is one of those things. It w is technically correct. Right. To use the mystic. Because now he's going to draw... And I mean, draws a forest. forest. It doesn't really matter. And passes yeah. the turn. He must only have pump spells in his hand, so he's gonna take some beats from the spirits until he can rally around and get something else. Yeah. Now he does have the potential to still generate a lot of damage really quickly if he has a satyr that he flashes in it in a turn. I think this is gonna be a siege right now. Or oh man, that's that promo siege right now too. So, yeah. Pretty big swing there. Six yeah. points. Big fan I, of Siege Rhino. I hate that card. <laughs> Just because when we were playing Standard here a lot more, uh, I played Red Decks and... Oh, yeah. Siege that, Rhino. That card cannot beat... <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to throw this card at you and yeah, uh, dismember. All right, there's I'll the take four. <laughs> well, he needs a way to deal with a spirit then. Otherwise... He uh, yeah. just dies to spirits. I'm going to cast this Boon Sater. There you go. There's the Boon Sater. Yep. All Maybe right. Come back from that. All right. So that's going to end it for us. Chris is going to take it. Yeah, look, Ryan never made his way back up here. Or other Ryan. Ryan O'Loughlin. Yeah. Um, I'd like to thank everybody who tuned in for Brew Night. Yeah, we have fun on Brew Night. Uh, I saw some interesting brews besides the one that I was playing, so I was kind of happy with that. Uh, normally, I would be up here in the booth with Ryan O'Loughlin, but... Uh, yeah. I wanted to play this evening because I had, I had something spicy and I didn't get to play the spicy stack I wanted to build because I couldn't find all the cards. But uh, that's for next yeah. brew night. <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything. Well, you probably get to play more because I I am back from my little hiatus. Yeah. Here had some uh, work interference with my other job preventing me from really coming in here uh, for a little while. But that's uh, settled and I should be able to be back pretty regularly on Friday nights, which I'm excited about because it's been. Too, Way too long, long since I've been here. Need to get my fix, right? My four horsemen fix back on because I do love it here. It's a great place yeah, to be. Yeah, we missed having you. Yeah, well, thank you. Appreciate it. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, again, thank you so much for joining us uh, this evening. Uh, again, I'm Ryan Wolf, joined by Kurt and I.